Hi everyone, and welcome to Sex with Paula with Dr. Cameron. I'm Dr. Cameron, a sexual health doctor and educator. I must apologize for my appearance. I'm disheveled today because I'm here experiencing a bout of test anxiety. Not for any tests I have to take, but because I'm concerned about the thousands of Canadians who remain untested for STIs, sexually transmitted infections. This is... It's scary. Don't understand why this is scary? Well, imagine you're walking down the street. It's dark. And suddenly you're blindsided by the inescapable truth that STIs are on the rise in Canada. I'm, I'm stuck in text right now, so just to give me a... Thanks in part to decreased condom use, which... Really? Really. I mean, I, I know, but really? STIs have been steadily increasing since 1998. So when you were busy watching Mulan and A Bug's Life, adorable films, aren't they just? I loved them so. Frequency of chlamydia and gonorrhea, both treatable STIs have tripled. Now remember, it's no big deal to have an STI and treating it is pretty simple. But if you don't get it treated, armies will take over things you don't want to take an over in your pants. Pants armies will come and devastate your pants. That's possibly not a medical definition of what happens. So if that eked you out more than the news that your favorite movies are 20 years old, you're an old person. Here's something that I call, oh, you're gonna love it, Dr. Cameron's special helpful guide for getting yourself tested quickly and efficiently for an STI. Yes, you, please. Seriously, just do it. TM. Step one. Visit your healthcare professional or walk-in clinic. At-home STI tests are available and can be purchased online. Step two, provide basic personal information and your health card, or literally walk into any free clinic and give literally any name. Ross, Rachel, Phoebe. I, I don't, I don't, there's two more, right? Do, 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 do. I think that's how it goes. Please see the link in the description for resources. Step three, find out if you're one of the 120 thousand Canadians every year walking around with undiagnosed chlamydia. Ta -da! And then get it treated. That's step four, technically. Some STIs are diagnosable from visual examination alone. You may be asked to give a urine sample or a blood test. Others require a swab of the genitals, cervix, throat, or rectum. You're more than welcome to ask your healthcare professional questions during any part of the exam, and they will be happy to answer them. If you have more questions, make sure to email sexwithpaula at gmail.com. Please make sure to like and subscribe to this video and leave a bunch of comments below, like Dr. Cameron is really hunky, I hope he hosts some more, stuff like that. Now, stay tuned, keep your tablets, your cell phones, whatever you're watching this on, keep it tuned in for part two of this video and some helpful advice about how to approach your partner about STI testing. Featuring me, Dr. Cameron, the supreme best host of Sex with Paula. So there's a fountain and we all have lovely umbrellas and then there's a song and it's guitar -y and some fellas. 